Uh oh, right. I, I, this question, guys. What's the question? It's about to start a war. What's the question? Sugar on grits or not? Oh, you already know what it is. It's not a war. There's only one right answer. What's your answer? It's sugar and butter. Are you serious? See, now that's how I know you ain't sugar saved. and butter. You ain't saved. So sweet and, you and ain't salty. Saved. You ain't saved. If that ain't your answer, you ain't saved. I'm so this is what I'm as we talk about this. I gotta ask this because you. You've been doing this a long time. You know, you've been in the game. You, you, you solidified. You got your Grammy, you know, and all the nominations. You got your Billboard number ones. And then you have given the people so much. Okay. And then you do the song with Nicki Minaj. Uh-huh. I, I did a song with Ty Dolla Sign. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. I, we, we've been in this. And then people had things to say. Mm -hmm. How did, like... How did you wrestle with that? Because I struggled with yeah. a lot of the comments that people mm -hmm. had as if some kind of way I I lost my way. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, how did you navigate that? Um, I, I, I'm with you. Originally, it just kind of rubs you the wrong way. Yeah. Especially, it's like the, you know, celebrate Jesus today, crucify him tomorrow kind of mm. thing. Because in my mind, I'm like, man, y'all was just clapping and applauding this album. That's good. And now all of a sudden, I'm on my way to hell. Right. You know, so it's just hard to manage those emotions of, okay, they love me today, I'm good. Right. Then to, to now, so I think it, you have to find a space of maturity and comfort in the fact that you know you did the right thing. Yeah. Like, I know that I heard from God about that. That's good. And then you eventually, you hear the testimonies. Like I have testimonies literally of people who say, I never bought a gospel album until wow. I heard this song. Same. Or I didn't believe in God until I heard this song. Same. You know, so I, you put me on the chopping block if it's gonna mm. introduce people to, you know, to God. Like that's, that's where I am. That's good. Yeah. See, I, I didn't think that, that's good. Cause... Make me the sacrifice. Cause honestly, yeah, like yeah, go ahead, and take me out. I should have yeah. see. I should have. I didn't even think about it like that. I was probably too selfish in that time period. I was like, why y'all talking crazy about me, oh, man? About me. I'm you know trying to do. Good. I'm trying to do right. Yeah. But but to your point, people. I remember somebody saying, "Man, thank you," because I was in the club and I oh, heard wow. I heard your song with Ty Dolla Sign, mm -hmm. and I went and did my research, and I just went down the path. And man, you literally been changing my life through your music. That's and incredible. I'm like, all right, Jesus Elite 99 yeah. for the one. So I'm like, I'm it, it's it's worth it once you get past those emotions. Yeah. You know, and say, hey, this is my purpose, it's my calling. Right. Yeah. I totally agree. Um, I'm curious too, so this is this is relevant. Um, you're vocal about mental health. Yeah. I'm vocal about mental mm -hmm. health. Um I have I've, I've, we both have talked a lot about our journeys. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I have experienced like severe depression mm -hmm. where it was like, man, I didn't even want to, I didn't, I didn't even feel like I could do anything. Yeah. I had to just shut down everything. Wow. Also pretty chronic anxiety to where, mm -hmm. you know, cause anxiety and depression like cousins, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. To where I've had to change aspects of my lifestyle. Yeah. Why, like, I'm curious for you, what gave you the courage to talk about it publicly? Mm. I, because I believe it's very present okay. in, in the church, but also amongst people who are leaders. Yeah. Like, you know, company owners. You That's why we see so much the rise of suicide, mm. because there are leaders who feel like nobody understand, understands, they can't empathize, yeah. you know, and I feel like it is a part of um, our responsibility with our platform to also be transparent. That's good. That, hey, you see the glitz and the glamour, yeah. but I've been at home in the bed three days. I've been in the dark. I understand where you are. Um, empathy is like the killer of shame. Mm, you gotta say that one more time. Like literally, I when... <laughs> that. empathy is the killer yeah, of shame. Yeah, it, 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 shame bows Dang. to empathy. Dang. Because the, literally, your your mind is being played with, and the main thing that you're hearing is that you're the only one. Yeah. Like you're the only one dealing with this. This is too much for you. Yeah. You can't handle this. But the moment that you hear, man, I went through that three years ago. 
This is how I experienced freedom. Yeah. This is how I made it back to a healthy space mentally. Yeah. You know, when somebody that can empathize with you, it gives you a different perspective. You know, it, it helps you see light at the end of the tunnel. I say that a lot. Like I, I always talk about if I show you my my scars, you'll believe your wounds can heal. Mm -hmm. So so if I hide my scars, you you walk around thinking that I'm not scarred yes. up at all and it's like you got these wounds bleeding out and you're like yeah. ain't no hope for me Come on. but I want people to believe that your wounds can heal because mine did yeah. I got scars but that's yeah. okay because that's the evidence that healing is taking place in my life so I don't mind showing them off I'm like yeah. I feel like the, you know oftentimes when I'm struggling you know or having a mental health battle I will I will google or like look up other influential people who have this and yeah. and I see you yeah. I see Michelle Williams I see yeah. Taraji I see mm -hmm. The Rock y'all come up consistently yeah. and I'm reminded okay this is not I'm not by myself in not this by journey. myself you know what I mean yeah. so I appreciate that there oftentimes we don't get to share like sit down and share the stories about our lives mm -hmm. a lot of times people they can hear it through our songs but I mean that's three four minutes mm -hmm. um, I would love to hear you talk about a a moment that altered how you view your calling. Mm. Oh man. You know what? I think so it's funny because I remember um I remember I had gotten saved. You know, I was late to the party, late to the Jesus party. So I was I was 19 and um and I remember you know, all my friends was going out, you know, doing what a typical 19 year old would do. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I just had the spiritual transformation. I want to rap about it, you know, because I was already rapping. Okay. But I was like, I don't I want to talk about what has been happening in my life and just be real. But I remember, um, you know, creating these songs and they were just for me. You know, and I was like, man, I just want to say these things that God has been doing in my life. And I wrote this song and my friend was volunteering at a detention center. He said, hey, Craig, you want to come with me? And I said, yeah, I'll come. And I went and, you know, this is a group of little hard rock knuckleheads at the detention center. And I started to rap those lyrics for them. Wow. And. As I'm rapping the lyrics, I'm nervous because, you know, I don't, I've never really performed like this before. And I finish, you know, I'm giving my little heart out and I open my eyes, man, these kids are sobbing. Wow. You know, they are broken and I'm just like, Ooh. oh my goodness, like something is connecting with them. Mm -hmm. And I think I knew then, this is what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. You know, this is what I'm supposed to do, Lord. I'm, I know what you're asking me to do with this music. And that's so, powerful. Yeah. Wow. That's where, where it took off for me. Wow. Um, I'm gonna hear your story too, wait, wait a minute. You know what I mean? What do you feel? I mean. Now I know a little bit, but I'm I'm curious, like, cause I, from what I understand, you would you was like uh, you would like singing behind your family mm -hmm. members, but yeah. then you had to sing in the front. But yeah. did, when did you know, like, this is what I'm supposed to do this consistently? Wow, that is so much in this question because I think we we experience phases of purpose. Okay, like purpose is mm. not a specific. Oh, no, I met purpose. That's it good. is literally a walk of life. And so I think, you know, from me being raised in church, there comes a time where you have to be, you have to depend on your own faith. Like you have mm -hmm. to get your own relationship. Mm -hmm. So we talk about and we laugh about, hey, I was raised in the church. I know everything about church. But, you know, a lot of times it's your relationship is just contingent on that of your parents. That's right. Not so much you seeking God out yourself. That's right. That didn't really happen for me until I, I got to college. You know, mm -hmm. now I'm out here by myself and, oh, this is real. I yeah. really need a relationship with Christ, especially dealing with the mental health things, you know, because now mm -hmm. I I got to know him for myself. Wow. And so I, I feel like later on, to be honest, I did not want to do this. Like, I love writing songs. I loved being the worship leader at my church. Yeah. It was what I, I have a passion for the local church. Okay. That was my thing. Okay. But I think I realized this is funny. Some of my friends set me up and I was just writing songs for our worship team. We would literally be singing it at our church. 
people would sing these songs around the world at different churches. And I just, it just never was like, oh, I want to record. I want to yeah. do this. For, it was not my thing. Yeah. And so they sat me down and I think we're just going to lunch. And literally out of nowhere, they were like, so what are you doing this album? I was like, what are y'all talking about? Like, yeah. what album? Yeah. But I think it's good to have the right people in your life at the right seasons because literally I went home and could not shake it. I couldn't go to sleep. Um. I couldn't get it off of me. It was just plague in my mind like well, you gonna do this album album and so literally this sounds unrealistic yeah. that night i set up and i wrote out a full plan to like for a live recording oh, i wrote out a full wow. budget had never done any of this stuff in my life like literally had never seen That's it crazy. i'm googling everything how do you do this how, coming up with way how do you get your songs on I, see these kids don't know nothing about this kind of stuff now talk to them like how to get your songs on on itunes i'm googling all of this stuff not knowing anything yeah but that one experience just a few words altered how I saw myself. Wow. Because I literally just saw myself as, hey, you know, you're the local worship leader, which is nothing wrong with it. For sure. You know, I felt like it was fulfilling purpose and it was for that season. Yeah. But there was there was a shift. It was something different. Yeah. You know, that really clearly God wanted to use me to be a bridge. Like, and so That's that was one thing that really just it altered my perspective. Yo, you said something and it's good. You said purpose is not like this, this moment, but yeah. it's like, and I, I can't agree with you more. Like, I think a lot of times people are just looking for their purpose, not realizing, mm. you know, you were, you were born, you, you was like, God knew you before he formed you in your mother's womb. He purposed you for something. Yep. Like, you don't have to go looking for it. You need to walk into it yes. in those phases, like yep. you're saying. And I love that, man. Because where you are right now could be on purpose for now. I'm done. We, <laughs> What's the name of your church? <laughs> Tell them the name of the church. Service Look, starts. It, how about this? It's the Purpose Place. Okay. Look at it. Look at the law. Yep. It's Spartanburg, South Carolina. But it's so true. I think people seek for years for that one aha. Uh -huh, oh, mm. this is why I'm living. When right. literally all of these seasons have been why you're living. That's why. See what I'm saying? That's why she can go off on purpose because it's the per go off on purpose. <laughs> the purpose place. The purpose yeah. place, you feel me? <laughs> uh, all right. So, you know, we I got to, you know, ask you about because because like I said, you're iconic. And I mean, I know you you're growing up on Fred Hammond and Kirk Franklin. So you in your mind, you thinking, oh, those are the icons. Yolanda Adams are icon. Mm -hmm. But for a younger generation, like they know you. Wow. And so. You know, you're at this place now for them. Like, no, you're in that space. Mm -hmm. um, the same way that I'm sure, like, Beyonce looks at Aretha Franklin, but, you know, mm -hmm. a young woman is looking at Beyonce mm -hmm. as, as that person. So I'm just, for you, what do you see, like, the future of gospel music? And, mm -hmm. like, like, who are you excited about? What are you excited yeah. about? Like, how do you want to, what do you want to do? Like, I don't know, you know what I mean? I'm super, it's a few things that I'm excited about. I, um... I love that gospel artists are not afraid to uh, explore. Okay. Like they're not bottled up in this one, it gotta be this one sound, these mm. specific chords, this specific way. You know, you got um, artists like Naomi Rain and Chandler and you know, all of these yeah. different artists who, we see them as worship leaders and that's a part of who they are, but they also have these creative brains, mm -hmm. you know, like Anna Goldens, they, these pure vocals and they're just incredible songwriters. Mm -hmm. I think it mimics the generation that's to come, that they were birthed with so many gifts that yes, it's very challenging for them to manage, yeah. but once they get a hold of it, yeah. it creates like these future icons. Like I see them being not just good singers yeah. or not just good rappers, but great producers and mm -hmm. great songwriters. So I'm, I'm loving the creativity and they don't feel boxed into, oh, gospel has to sound like this. this. You know, and I also love the rise of collaboration. Okay. Like we didn't see that a lot they're not afraid to create these movements or groups of people. You see it, you know, with Elevation and all of these different groups uh, where it's so many different artists who could stand alone, but they're right. they're saying um, selflessly, but I also want to do this with you. 
That's good. We didn't see that a lot in our generation or the generation before us. That's good. Now collaboration, I believe that really God is really using collaboration in a special way. So why haven't we collaborated? <laughs> why haven't we collaborated? In church. I grew up in church. Monday through Monday? Literally. Monday through Monday. See, okay. okay, so I didn't. Right. But then I, I got saved and I started trying to, you know, know my way around. Uh -huh. So we're going to play this little game okay. and see if I get me a black church card or see if yours gets revoked. <laughs> okay. You see what I'm it saying? It might get revoked. Let's, let's, see. Let's, see. let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm going to start off. I'm going to ask right. you my question. Mm -hmm. All right, because see, I don't even, I, I do think I know this, but uh -huh. if a soloist forgets their words, it is customary to encourage them by saying, A, take your time. Uh -huh. B, that's all right. C, sit down. Uh oh. Or D, boo. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be A and B. Okay, A and B. Wait. It could be take, either one. Take your time. Now, I would say, take your time. Okay. Or that's all right. That's all right. So you would tell somebody you that's all right. How do you say warmth. that's all right if they messing up? You got to say it with warmth. So if they forget their words, his eye is on the... It's all right. Okay, 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 okay. I see. I got you. I got you. I, I done heard take your time, but you made, you made this all right, right sound better. Okay. All right. My turn. What you got for me? All right. When a church member is about to cuss you out, mm. they may say, mm. A... Help me, Holy Ghost. <laughs> B, Jesus, take the wheel. Ooh. C, I ain't been saved all my life. Mm. Or D, God bless you. See, my grandma had had a, a, she 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 had a past. Uh huh. So I know she would definitely say I ain't been saved all my life. But at the same time, at the same time, I can see her saying God bless you God because bless she you. about to. But then I can also hear her say, uh, what was the first one again? Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. It's, it's got to be all of the above. Yeah, because that's, that's the prayer. Because that really me means you, you are being saved right now because I'm calling on Holy Ghost that's to good. come so calm I, me down. That would be me. I would. I, I don't know. I now, which to, one would you say? I think I would be a cussing Christian. That's probably what I would be. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to be neither of these. <laughs> I think I'll be a cousin Christian. I love it. All right, all right. Here we go. When somebody gets up to give their testimony, they usually start with A, good morning, saints. B, the devil thought he had me. Okay. C, crying. Or D, first giving honor Thank to God. God. It's gonna, it's gonna be D. It's gonna be D. First give honor. I don't know, to God. I don't know where we get them other ones from. What did you say after first give? Because I don't first give my first give my first give over to God, who is the head yeah. of my life. Head of my life. Okay. And my pastor. Okay. And a beautiful first lady. Okay. You know this. <laughs> then you go into your testimony. Is this, is so is this is this still to this day or is this is this like? No, I don't think a lot of churches still. So do this is not. You don't need to do yeah. this. Okay. It could get out of control in twenty twenty three. That's true. You That's know, true. Testify. We've seen some that, clips. Okay? I, I have seen some <laughs> clips some online. Testimonies. Boy, yeah, yeah. you're right. We don't. We need to get. Yeah. You're like, all right, all right now. You yeah. don't go viral. You might want to shut that down. Just let everybody jump up. That's true. That's good. All right. If the choir is singing two songs, all right. they will be rendering mm. A, praise unto God, mm -hmm. B, an A and B selection, mm -hmm. C, their voices, mm. or D, their best praise. Okay. Uh oh, I think I'm gonna take your card on this one. Wait a minute. They are rendering. Mm -hmm. If they wait, what's the first? What's the question again? If the choir is singing two songs, two, two songs, they will be rendering. Rendering. Praise unto God. Uh huh. That's true. But an A and B selection. Uh huh. Their voices. Uh huh. Or their best praise. Now, what people gotta know about me is that yes, I be rapping. But before I was rapping on these big stages and these amphitheaters and all these places, I was in some mom and pop, you know, Mount Zion uh, uh -huh. Episcopal uh, uh -oh. Church of the Living Holy Ghost Baptist Missionary, uh, all of them names. But did you sing in the choir? 
I tried. What? Now, see, I got a little. You, if you auto tune me, I'm good. Okay. So I got a little something. You good for the I can choir. hide in the choir. Mm -hmm. So I know from shout out the voices of praise. It is All rendering right. A and B selection. Yeah. You know, to mess with your boy. Mess with your boy. You got it. I'm gonna keep my card. I'm gonna keep, <laughs> keep my card. Keep your card. Yeah. So you you know what I'm saying? We both keep our black church card uh -huh. apparently today. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We both keeping our black church card. So I I'm curious, you know, um, you are, you know, one of the I mean, you're you're one of the most iconic gospel singers that we have. Wow. It's just facts. I'm just telling you the facts. Uh, and people probably, I mean, you got a lot of influences, obviously, both gospel music, mm -hmm. I'm sure, probably country, R&B, probably mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. But what would you say your all-time favorite album is? Oh, my goodness. That's so hard. Not really. Okay. Fred Hammond. Which one? The Pages, Pages of, of Life. Life. Yes. That's, that's, that's the one, though. Classic. That's the one. I mean, you could pop that thing in that's now and be one. in tears. Man, that that let me tell you, I did Changes some Changes of Life. I did some repenting to that to that uh to that, yes. that project. Boy, I was boy. It you know is what I'm it's amazing. Shout out to and it was the creative. double disc? Yeah, it was. You see what I'm saying? I had I had uh uh Tupac All Eyes on Me and Come Fred on. Hammond, Pages of Life, my double. You were my fully double. covered. You know what I mean? I was in the game, <laughs> man. I was in the game. So yeah. Wow, man. I love this. Yeah. Okay, so Three items. Three items. You have with you at all times. Oh man, three items I gotta have with me at all times. That's rough. Um, all right, I'm thinking about what I keep in my car because it don't necessarily be on my, I mean, obviously you got your wallet and your keys yeah. on you at all times. Mm -hmm. In my car, I'm gonna have an extra, uh, an extra deodorant. Okay. Cause you just never know. You never know. You gotta. I can't be. When you gonna get sweaty? That's right. I got. That's good. Just some extra. Uh, I'm also gonna have in my car. I'm gonna have an extra pair of shoes, just because sometimes you don't know what situation you're in. And you okay. might need it. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to have uh, my upper stopper. Apostolic ratchet that will put a hole in any demon <laughs> and anybody who wants to touch on my Come kids on. or my wife in the wrong way. If you don't know what I mean, I'm a card carrying uh, 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 Christian. Holder. Christian, there we go. That card carrying Christian. Christian. That's I a like, CCC. You know what I'm saying? I'm a CCC, <laughs> baby. You did what I'm saying. I got it on me at all Same times. Same here. Okay, you feel me? You just don't know what's going on out here. You never know. You know what I'm saying? I'm saved, but don't push Don't come bust. You feel me? No, that's good. Three items. I like. Um, I was trying to think of mine. What's your three? You got three? You got to have your phone. That's true. Well, you, so we're not saying that. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have my phone on me all the time. So. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I will have my so phone. So here, I'm a, are you a computer person or a phone person? I'm a phone. So if no. you're working. No, I'm a phone. I'm, I'm not really? even a computer. I do all my work from my phone. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think that's just. Got to have a phone. I got to have a brush. Okay. Yeah, for I can my see hair. That. I can see yeah. that. You stay fly. And Tasha gonna be fly. Know that. Oh, you gonna be fly. I appreciate you. Yeah. I don't know what else I gotta have. That's it, guys. Okay. Every, hey, listen. Some gum, you gotta some mints in your powder. purse. You ain't got no mints. Now in I your... do always have hauls. Okay. I was gonna say that's, that's, that's cough that's, drops. That's like, you know, that's that's uh Yeah, because it's soothing to your vocal cords. There you go. There you yes. go. Uh oh, right. I, I, this question, guys. What's the question? It's about to start a war. What's the question? Sugar on grits or not? Oh, you already know what it is. It's not a war. There's only one right answer. What? There's only one right answer, Tasha. If you don't get this answer right, you you might not see Jesus. What's your answer? It's sugar and butter. Are you serious? See, now nah, that's how I know you ain't sugar saved. Sugar and butter. You ain't saved. So sweet and, you and ain't salty. Saved. You ain't saved. If that ain't your answer, you ain't I'm saved. I'm never putting sugar in my grits. I'm done with this. Answer. Butter and salt. We're done. Are you serious? Because grits should be salty. Why would you? Sweet. Did you? They ask you when you go to Waffle House, do you That's want cream sugar? Of wheat. They ask you. You know do why? You because want sugar. you guys started this whole thing. Who's Waffle you guys? House didn't offer sugar. Waffle before. House said, "Do you want sugar with your grits?" They, they do that ask in, you. in Georgia. They do, well, I don't know, but they they asked <laughs> me. So I feel like sugar on grits is is a responsible answer. Why would we do that? You know what? It's fine. People. Yeah, this this we is gonna, over. 
you know, that's why there's the different denominations today. <laughs> if people right. don't know what's... All right, I'm curious about this. What's the craziest rumor you ever heard about yourself? Oh. Do you Google yourself? Man, that's how I don't. You be Googling yourself. No, I don't. How do you Google yourself? You know, that's how you protect yourself. You Googled yourself before. I know you just... You what just, is the worst... <laughs> oh, the worst rumor I ever heard was that I was dead. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, was you was with Jesus on Yeah, it? like a few months ago, they said I was dead. I woke up to people literally... They were doing an RIP. Crying like, and calling. Oh. It was a big deal. Oh, that's Guys, crazy. I'm still here. That's kind of Some crazy. people are still in my comments right now, like, oh, no, she's still here. How yeah. did that get started? What? I mean, somebody started on YouTube. Yeah, that's yeah. that's pretty wild. Why would somebody do that? It was, Listen, the devil is a liar. They wanted you to be with the Lord. Yeah. I guess. That's I'm going to be here crazy. until I'm finished. I, I'm trying to think of a crazy rumor I heard about myself. I can't think of anything too crazy. So you ain't never Googled yourself? Yeah, like once. once or twice. <laughs> a day. <laughs> <laughs>